What's up everybody? Tonight I'm finally going to try to get the IH3 build completed. All I have left to do is get all the soldering completed for the flight controller and slap everything together. that all of my wiring is correct and I'm using a uh, RDQ smoke stopper this one's the XT31 let's plug that in there my props I'm gonna use a 650 mAh battery and make sure you can see the light here Good sign. All right. Some goggles here. Goggles here. on. Yeah. And we have picture. We have picture. Very nice. All right. What I've got left to do is, of course, button everything up. I need to bind the receiver. So let me get that taken care of and we'll get this thing buttoned up. And finally, we are together. Woo! That was a fun one. So let's talk a little bit about what's in here. Um, so we've got, uh, first of all, an R9MM. I put the antenna out the back in an L shape for now. I may end up changing that after giving it a test flight, but let's see how the L shape uh, functions. Again, we got the um, Tachyon 1108-5000 kV motors in here for now. These may get swapped out for some RCX 1304s pretty soon, but let's give these a try first. Of course, the Cadex Turtle V2 is on the front. Inside, 
We've got uh, the flight controller is on the front side on the on the bottom. On top of that is the Cadex board. On top of that is the R9MM. Uh, in the back here, we have our 4-in-1 ESC that I already did a review on. And on top of that, we have an AKK FX3 Ultimate connected with a Lollip Lollipop V2. Put a little bit of Uma Crip on the top so we can keep our battery in there. Let's see what this thing now weighs with everything on it. So we are coming in at 145.8. If we tack on a 650 ma 4S battery, that brings us to 226. And I'm sure if we add on four propellers, we're going to be well below the 250 grand mark. So I hit my target on what I was looking to do. So the next thing to do is to get beta flight set up, get my rates in there. I'm going to first fly it with um, just the stock PIDs from beta flight 3.5.2. We'll see how that goes and make adjustments as necessary. And then of course I'll get some flight videos in there for uh, the Cadex Turtle V2 with the HD recordings. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, I do need to also make sure I have the latest and greatest firmware for that. Um, in the back, I did have to make some minor modifications. The AKK FX3 Ultimate does not have its um, MMCX connector smack in the middle. So I did have to adjust this uh, TPU a little bit. I carved it out on the side just so that it could fit in there. Strapped it around with uh, a little zip tie so we can get our XT30 connector sitting on the top. So I won't be able to get any flights until this weekend. Unfortunately, I have uh, a lot of work that I need to get done. Uh, so this weekend, I will definitely get this out, uh, fly it. I should be getting some nice weather for the weekend. So excited about that. Stay tuned for the flight videos and my final thoughts and reviews on the IH3 build. Uh, any questions about the build, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. As always, please like the video subscribe to my channel, click that bell button so you can get notifications off the upcoming flights and also my upcoming uh, videos. I've got the D2, I'm sorry, T240 Duo Charger coming up next. So again, thanks so much. Hope you have a wonderful day.